Searching for new leads within the system is a very simple process and we're in the lead search over here on the menu. All leads are saved in what we call lists. So you can create a list uh, before you search or during a search. There are three different types of lists. We have our people search, our local or company search, and our domain search. Lists need to be unique to those three. So you can't save local searches into a people search list. So even if you don't have a list, you can start to search. So for this tutorial, we're going to do a local search and then we're going to create a list for those results. So creating your first search, let's click on our search method that we're choosing. And here in our local search, we can now start to type. So we have a business type, a location, then we get to choose the list and we have a bonus or extra field here that may help with results. So I'm going to go with a realtor and perhaps I'm looking in Chicago. So I might start there. Once you type, you need to make sure to choose from the list. Okay, the list of locations. Now we've got to either add them to an existing list or I can create a new list right now. So let's say I'm creating the Chicago Realtors list and clicking on save. I've now got my list there and I can do that bonus search if this particular search fits into any category, uh, Google might have a better or more focused results. So I'm gonna say yes, real estate agency does fit. If, this, if your search doesn't fit into these categories, it's fine. They'll still find the results. This is just perhaps fine tuning those results a little. So as we click on continue, we'll see that those results are now populating on the screen in just a few seconds. So here we go. We've now got our results starting to come into the program. We've got their business name, their uh, reputation, website, phone number, and their physical address. Now, those results have automatically been added to that list. So if I come over to my list and I look for my Chicago Realtors right there, I can click on this list and I'll see those results and they're starting to be enriched right now. So creating a brand new search, we talked about finding them in our company search by category and also by location. The same applies for our people search, but with a few differences that I'll just go through quickly. So in our people search, we're able to look for a particular role. So I might say we're looking for not just a realtor, but I'm looking for a real estate valuer. Okay, and again, I can keep that same location if I want to. Now I've got a real estate valuer and here we go, I've chosen my location. With our people search, there's some advanced filters you can also use. So clicking on our advanced filters, you'll see that we open up quite a lot of extra information. So I might look for just the CEO of real estate valuing companies, just like that. Or I might look for uh, a particular management level. It might be C-level or C-suite. I might look for uh, people that have only just started a job, skills, how many years of experience. I can look in a particular company, uh, only find um, businesses over a particular employee count or revenue. And the more things you choose here, the tighter your results will be. However, you may also find that it eliminates results by default. So if you choose CEO, but then you also choose C-level, there might be not two that match, even though they're very similar. So you might choose CEO and to find companies that only have 51 to 100. And again, we might not find any specific matches. So the tighter our, uh, our selection is, the the more difficult the, the system will have to be able to find those results. So once you've set your filters, you can click on continue and let's see how those results are now populating on the screen. So our people search is now uh, giving us the list of the people that we're looking for. And we found CEOs with specific uh, um, company types that we were looking for. Now this is a manual selection. We're going to add these ones to the list and we're going to say which list was it and we can drop that in uh, Again, either creating a new list as we go or into a uh, selected list that we have. So now we have again our lists. If I'm looking for my people list right here, I can find that one that I just added our people to. And again, our data is starting to enrich with those people that we've just added into that program, which is fantastic. So we've talked about our company search. We've talked about our people search. The last search there is a domain search. And our domain search looks for one specific company at a time. And that's based on a domain. So I might look for everybody that works, for example, at tesla.com. And 
Again, if I've got a list, I can do that. If I, uh, if I don't have that list, I can create the list as I go. So now I can look for one particular business at a time. And again, those uh, records are then added to that specific list. So our three search models allows you to really um, focus in on the types of business you're looking for, either in, as a people, you're looking for a particular role, or you're looking for a particular company size and, and people within that company. You're looking for all com companies in a niche or vertical, uh, and you're looking by individual domain. Those are our three lead searches and running your first searches within the program.